live. Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to where I left. Oh, that'll scare everyone away. Welcome back to where I left off. Had a busy week this week. Uh, last time I left you was the day before I went to Cedar Point for the entire day and <laughs> did like this big epic trip. Uh, the video is uploading right now. So if the quality of this is not up to par, it's because I'm uploading the video the same time that I'm doing a live stream. But assuming that you can see me, assuming that you can hear me, welcome to me finally finishing Lego House Home of the Bricks set 40504. This is the minifigure tribute, or minifinger as they're known in some circles. As you can see, I've got his entire body built. All we're missing is his head and his hat and the map. And that's what we have in 789, which is what I'll be getting into here. In other good news, I found the mini version of him in my collection. I looked for him in this stream last time, and of course when the pressure's on, he's nowhere to be found. But then when I, when I turn the camera off, it's like, oh, there he is. So we'll put him there beside that. So we kind of have the little one, which they should have included, in my opinion. He should have been in this set, but nonetheless, we're going to build this up. And the bag seven is where we start with his head. And this is really cool. Got to show this off to you. That's printed, of course. There are stickers with this set. We got the map. We got the pirate flag. And we've got an actual material flag here. So let's get into building this. I'll chat with you while I'm building this up. I hope... You're having a nice Memorial Day if you're here in the United States. I know most of our most of our people are. You probably have tomorrow off, which is a good thing. And um, you're having a fun time with whatever you're doing. Maybe you're having a cookout. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe yesterday. We I spent like we spent Thursday, Friday, and Saturday doing a yard sale at my mother and father-in-law's. So that's where all the time went. And that's why you haven't been seeing content here because we've been so darn busy. But I've been making videos though, so that's good. Especially if you like our vlog content, because that'll be that'll be out. I just have to edit stuff, and that's what I did today. I also shot a podcast today. If you guys like the Missing Pieces podcast, it's still a thing. Look up Greg's World Podcast. You can find it here on the YouTube. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit so you can you can see what's going on here. You can see a little bit. When did I start live streaming? Literally moments ago. You've missed nothing. This is what I've built so far. You've missed nothing. Good morning. It, it's morning somewhere, I suppose. Clarkman is here. He's working on a, a mock, I think, of some sort. You saw his, his mug there in the beginning of the stream. His little face. But yeah, he's got only a few days left to school. So if you guys are wondering if Clarkman's going to re-emerge on the channel, it seems likely. After how many days left, buddy? Or six, I think. six, six and a half, maybe where there's like a half day. So it's either, I think it's, are you, is your last day Wednesday? I think it is. Okay. So six and a half days. Clark man is officially a free man. Okay. Third grader. He's going to be a, a free man and a third grader. And then summer begins. And I, I, I guess he's going to be apparently like working in my studio, constantly sorting and organizing. Oh. And, um, yeah, just like working endlessly down here is what I heard. Like pretty much. I did not do, say any of that, guys. Yeah, he said he's really excited no, to sort pieces, organize, put everything away. He's going to be doing all of that. Now, I figured I'll do the building and then he can do all of that stuff. He's really excited about it, too. Yeah. <laughs> not, based not based on actual events. Clark, they said the cat was beautiful. They watched our recent vlog. The what now? Jack Frost. Oh, Jack Frost. Yeah, I haven't seen him since that day. He's he's been moose schooled. Hopefully, he comes back around. I don't know. I don't know. My cat up there again. It could be. They put him outside, and then he was he was just there. But I'm hoping uh, we can see him again. I was talking to a lady at the yard sales and she was talking about how she has chickens and ducks and the ducks live with the chickens. And I'm like, hmm, I would like to do that. Do you need parts? Mm -hmm. Clark is in my operation here. What do, what do you need, boss? Um, what are we getting into? I think it might be in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. You're good? We don't have to move anything? What are you building anyway? What's, what's going on? Oh, it's like a spinner with a train conductor guy on it. Oh, no! God, please, no! 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 
This is like the inside of a brickhead, sort of, only very colorful. I gotta make sure I keep this facing the right way or else I'm gonna get all confuzzled here and everything's gonna be all messed up. He gets launched out because it spins so fast. So, uh... Is it nice to have a table to actually be able to spin that on? It wasn't always like this. There wasn't always a space. That sounds broken. It's like building the inside of a brickhead and then we'll plaster it up on the outside. I'm very excited about this possibly being a series. Like they have that one that's coming out here in June. That is, he's just like the standard issue minifig that he's wearing like a, a red shirt and blue pants. I like that. I think these are cool. I don't think that these are going to be wildly popular with the normal uh, Lego audience necessarily. I think they like, like adults definitely like busts and things like that better. But I like, I like big minifigs. That's my jam. Are you guys getting any of those, in that new one? Obviously this one's a little bit hard to get, so I wouldn't blame anyone for skipping this one. But that one's actually an affordable price. And it's available everywhere. You don't have to go to the Lego house to actually get it. Oh, what if they made a castle one of these? That'd be pretty cool. I'd probably, I would spend the money to get it probably if this becomes a series, which I don't think it will. These Lego house ones are kind of one-off type things. Oh, I meant when you started live streaming. Dude, I don't know. I think it was like 20, I don't remember the year anymore. It's been so long. 2018, 2019, somewhere in there, I started doing live streams. I was pretty crazy about it back then. I was doing live streams very frequently and then I kind of tailed off and I have, I've probably done fewer live streams in the last 12 months than I have at any point in time. In fact, prior to my last stream, when I streamed this, it had been three months since I live streamed. But I think it's kind of fun. In moderation. You just can't go crazy with it. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. What will this be? Oh, now it's upside down. Okay, now we're building this. The design of this thing is really cool. The way that they're doing all of this stuff. I'm actually going to be building upside down from now on. Yeah, upside down, Clark, man. But I was going to build this. Like, I even got one of the bags out the other night. After I was done streaming, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just build a little more. But then I was like, no, somebody might enjoy watching that. They might find that interesting to see me build this. So I was like, I'll wait. And then things got crazy around here. And that's where we're at today. We lost some days. I still have a lot of Lego sorting and organizing to do, which I intend to do. And contrary to what I said earlier, I'm not going to make Clark do that. That's far too boring. I'm going to let him enjoy the aspect of Lego that kids should enjoy, which is the building. And I'll do the aspect that adults maybe enjoy, maybe don't enjoy, and that is the sorting and organizing. Regardless, it's definitely worth doing. If you're on the fence about sorting or organizing your Lego collection, it makes life a lot easier when you're looking for parts, for mocks, or whatever you may be doing it for. Life becomes much easier, doesn't it, Clark, man? Mm -hmm. You know right where everything is, especially if you know where things are. Wait one darn minute now. The one side is going to have his beard on it. So we got to make sure we do this the right way. We don't want to, we don't want to mess this up. So we got six of these babies going on. Can you guys see that? Check that out. Hi. There's Clark <laughs> Tan. <laughs> uh, Yoink. Okay, you're messing up my operation. Sorry, man. That's okay. I just need pieces. What are you making anyway? Making something cool. Okay, keep it a secret. Something cool. Clark's making something cool that if you stick around to the end, you'll get to see exactly what it is. Yeah. It depends if I can get it done in time. If he gets it done in time. <laughs> it's the only... Uh, you got some time, Clark, man. I've got three bags to build here. And you got some time too, if you're tuning in, you can watch, you can watch us along with me and you have some time to it too. I have to build two of these things. That's the back of his head. Wait one darn minute here. Okay, we gotta, uh, we gotta build two of these that are the same. And then the one isn't the same. Two, two of these are not like the others. If you hear some outdoor noise, I have my door open down here. It's a beautiful day outside. The perfect day to be outside and not inside building Lego. 
And I encourage you, if you're watching this, and it's nice outside, don't waste your time watching this stream. Go do something fun. Go get some exercise, get some sunlight. That's what I should be doing. But I felt bad leaving you guys for as long as I did, so I was like, all right, let's do this. All right, which direction am I facing here? I'm this way, and then we've got to put two of these on like this, I think. Now they go like this. Two of these on this side. This is pretty wild. I've never like thought about how I would build a giant Lego head, but this is this is perfect. The person that designed this is so good. And then we spin this around this way. So crazy. Put this on. Am I missing some parts here? We gotta flip this over now. We flip again. <laughs> this is like a, it's like a Rubik's Cube. You gotta flip and turn. This is actually bag seven right now, finished. There's his head. Check this out, Clark, man. Isn't that Yarg. cool? Yarg. Can we put his head on or has that not happened yet? Yeah, we do. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move you guys up a little bit. And I'll set this on here. And his head actually turns. If you guys are wondering, let me get my extra parts out of the way. Check this out. So his arms, his arms used to move a lot more until I put his shoulder pad things on, but his head, his head turns, so you can position him however you want. He comes off of this base that he's on, like this, and then his legs, they feel very minifig-like, like the way that they have tension on them and stuff is really cool. So we'll put him back on there for now. He's missing something, though. What's this guy missing, Clark, man? What's he need? Hat. Yes. And map. Hat and a map. And that's what we're going into with bag eight. I already have bag eight open. I did not sort it. It's mostly black pieces, of course, because that's what his hat's made of. This is the part that I probably could have done a little bit ahead of time. Here we go. You guys ready to do this? Let's see if I can move them back a little bit. I can't show everything that I want to show all in one shot, so I'll just show you the, the build process here. These pieces I found to be useful. I don't have many of these in my collection, but now that they make them, it's like, oh, I need those. I do like how they hide some hidden colors inside these though. A maxi fig, yeah, he sort of is. There's a mini fig, maxi, I don't know what you would call it. He's not a big fig, he's bigger than a big fig. He's a ginormous fig. But I was saying in the last stream, what I'd love to see LEGO do is make this a series where they make just tons of these things of all different themes. Like imagine a Spider-Man one, how well that would sell or if they did Darth Vader like this. Yeah. Clark's loving the idea. If you did some licensed stuff in this scale, I think people would buy it up. I would. But I'm just one person. I don't know if these are popular or not. We'll see what happens when they put that one out here in June. Where's my last one of these? There's a black stud in here hiding somewhere. There it is. Okay. So we got that bottom part, and now I'm, I'm building like the sides of his hat. It's gonna be kind of the, the same thing twice in a row here. Okay, circle, circle. It's kind of like making a little witch's hat, only I'm making it sideways is what this build is like. Let's see. I was trying to do step three without doing step two, and I'm like, Why? how do I get there? These pieces are interesting too. I don't have these in my collection, says me. Where's my other, my other one at? It's very much like that. There it is, okay. We're in business. I have a feeling everything that I do here, I'm gonna have to do twice, but I'm completely okay with that. Lots of these pieces I don't have. I don't have any of these in my collection, I don't think either. Little half circle type things. They're making new interesting additions to the Lego space and I like that. Cause you never know when you build something what you're gonna need. And it's nice if they actually make that thing. Clark, man, have you ever wanted to build something out of Lego and you realize that it's not an actual Lego piece that you need for that thing? Uh, yeah. 
You're like, if they only made that. I feel like they're getting really good with like the different angles and slopes of things. Think about when, when we build those crater cars, how those pieces really look like the car. Like, so, like Speed Champions. Speed Champions is amazing. Yeah, back when I was your age, our cars were like four wide squares or rectangles. They were not fancy pants at all. They were nothing special. But these days they are. They're getting there at least. Right. Do you think there's anywhere that Lego can improve, Clark, man? Um, add more good stuff. Add more good stuff is Clark's recommendation to Lego. <laughs> Like you're saying, I, I, I like that. Giant minifigs, I think you could always win with. Problem is, I don't know if that's something that the average person wants necessarily. I think it's just me. Think like, I went out of my way to get this. Well, I, I financially went out of my way. Thomas Sampson sent this to us in the mail all the way from Billund, but... I don't know if most people would, would be that desperate for this thing, but I think it's cool. And the fact that it's kind of rare kind of appeals to me. But even if it wasn't, I would want this fig. Because pirates are awesome. Drop no pieces. It's a brick tech stream. Are you going to have your build done? Or did you get sidetracked? You still got a little bit of time. I have a whole nother bag left. I got bag nine. It's just super hard because I don't know how to do this. What are you trying to so make? So I found a marble in this yard sit in the yard sale table. Yeah. And um, I'm trying to make like those cool courses people make on YouTube. Oh. Like, you know, marble things. Yeah, like one of the the contraption things. Yeah, I'm trying to do that where you like, where it goes down the slope and then into the tire. Ooh, that's really hard. I know. I you need a base plate, and then you need to uh, use bricks to make like a little alleyway. Oh yeah, base plate. I a base plate, bricks along the side to make an alleyway, mm -hmm. and uh, some tiles on the bottom so it rolls smoothly. Yeah, I, I'm trying to make it a little ramp. We'll try to share Clark Mann's build here that he comes up with. I don't know how much you can hear of him because I'm wearing a microphone so you guys can hear me, but he's working on like one of those, what do they call those? A great ball contraption or something like that, I think. But that's what he's working on. I'm building the hat of, of this dude. You can't see his head anymore because I have the camera angled down, but that's what I'm up to. The question is, can Clark, ooh, Clark got hurt. My foot. My foot. There's always Lego related injuries. Hopefully not season ending here. Can he build his thing and finish it before we run out of time here? I brought the bricks. I got the bricks. Got, the got bricks, kid. Let me zoom this down a little bit here. I kind of want to show the guy as he's getting built, but you'll see him towards the end here. Oh, Clark, man. Are you okay, buddy? What the cuss word? <laughs> Clark hurt his foot, and then he just hit his head off of the table. I wish I could cuss. <laughs> <laughs> boop. <laughs> Mother boop. Boop boop. Uh, his face is printed. It's a printed face. Thankfully. There is there is stickers in this set though, unfortunately. There's two stickers. Oh, no. One's for the map that you see there. That kind of sucks. And then that is a sticker, unfortunately, as well. Oh no. Is that across one piece? It yeah, it's gonna be across this piece. No big deal, though. We'll survive this. Build up with it does suck, though, that you spend, you know, some decent money on this set, and then they have the audacity Psych. to put stickers in there. And they jinx us with their sales. They jinxed us. Yoink. I don't think Clark, Clark knows what jinx means, but we just use it interchangeably for a lot of things, like getting ripped off, scammed. It's always a jinx. He getting jinxed. Yeah, boy. Do you think your great ball contraption is going to work, Clark, man? Hopefully. I think it will. I'm going to test it to make sure. 
What was that one set that I had that was sort of like that? It was a set that I really didn't like very much. It was the maze. You remember the maze? We should part that out. It was a Lego Ideas set. I think it was by JK Brickworks, who I love his stuff. I just didn't like that set very much. My expectations, I think, were too high for it. Uh, you it, got the ramp. I got ramp. But it kind of did what it was supposed to do. It was just... You got a ramp? Mm -hmm. Oh, you need walls on that, buddy. It's not going to run down the center of that, probably. Ah, I see. Aha. Indeed. I see. I see, said the blind man. Unless you want to risk it, he could run straight down the center of that. I'll show you guys what Clark Man's working on here in a bit. Oh, no. We're just going to leave it as like a, an audio presentation now. I can tell you the things that he's doing, but you can't see it. You got to you got to watch to the end. Yeah. And even then, it might not even be done. So you might just be disappointed. Yeah. Greatly disappointed. Yeah. Look at this thing. It's a... My chair almost fell over. If we had Batman on this, it could be a bat boat. No, 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 no. Batman. Bat boat. No, 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 no. Bat boat. I need another one of these. There you go. The black pieces are kind of brutal when you're looking through them. It's like, arrow. everything is black here. I like Clarkman's music that he plays while, while I build. Kind of like a Jurassic Park remix of sorts. This build's going pretty quick, though. I was expecting this to be way bigger. This wall I'm making is like castle leaf themed with brown, like brown wood and then like... Hey, that works. Stone wall. It looks good, Clark, man. And then it's going to roll down the wall. It shall roll down the wall. How many pieces am I going to have left over when I'm done building this step, Clark, man? Or this... This bag. Probably quite a few. Yes, dear. What? What? Uh, I got a text. I didn't have time to check it because I'm live streaming. Go, go ahead, babe. You're good. You're just filming the table. Yeah, you can come down. You don't have to be scared. All right, Clark, man. What? Oh, what now? What's he need? Okay, we're here. What? <laughs> Just come down and get it. How many of these do I need? Five. Oh, we're lining this whole thing up. Oh. Clark is like when you ask uh, Groot to go get the fin thing from the head. <laughs> do you remember when they asked Groot to go get that stuff? That might be all there is. Yeah, you do need a f colorful table so your pieces stand out. It's one of the downsides of having a black table. I like having black tables, but uh, the black pieces, they just blend in. But if I had a white table, the white pieces would blend in, I think. So, he did it. Clark is the best Groot ever. He is Groot. Almost done with this bag. Clark, you better hurry with your... Great ball contraption. Ding, ding. <laughs> well, mom's gonna be well, why do I have this piece left over? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I have one piece yeah, left so over. You, you have more time. I need to find where this piece goes. It better not be too far in there. Oh no. Oh no. I have failed once more, clock man. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, it's an easy fix. No. The easiest of fixes, right there. Back by like. You failure. Okay, I gotta put the sticker on. Does this even work? I don't think this is even gonna work. Well, it's all about an experiment, oh, Clark no. Man. Where is my marble? Here's that. I can't help you with. Mm. It didn't fall you in left. the. Did it fall in the Lego bin? Uh, all right, everyone, collectively hold your breath. This is gonna be a nightmare. <gasps> putting this sticker on. We don't want to mess this one up. <laughs> it's been a while since I've put a Lego sticker on. I need to get back into the world of building. Okay, I'm feeling good about that. 
that application was a, I'm going to say a 9.5 out of 10. Very nice. All right. That is, now that we found the last piece that we forgot to put on, obviously, um, we're going to be going on to bag 10 or nine. There is no bag 10, bag nine, which starts somewhere around here, right here. Step 250. You lost your marbles. Clark Van can't do his experiment because his marble's gone. It's right there under that bag. Silly. You got jinxed. Okay. Last bag, boys. Finish the hat. Build the map. And then this guy's done. This is going to work horribly. Is it going to be terrible? Let's sort our pieces. Can you tell which part is the map? All these All the Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. Too, I am too smart for this. Just too smart. Better IQ. Okay, here we go. We're going in. You guys ready to do this? Oh, no. It's too, it's like... Well, it's just launching because I have no walls. So that's probably... I wonder what the designer's process for coming up with sets. I, I would love to see that. I wish the designers would make like a YouTube channel where they showed like their first draft and what they were thinking of when they came up with it and then how that changed over time. I'd love to see how many people are involved in the final process, like things they have to change. That would be fascinating to see the behind the scenes. Of Lego. Yeah, like how did, it, how, how did this thing come to be? How many hours did this thing take to make? Like if I sat down and had to do this, I'd have no idea what to do. But somebody out there is way more talented than I could ever be. And they probably did it really well. I gotta do four of those, okay. No problem. If there's one thing I love in Lego, it's repetition. Yeah, yeah. Booyah. I like stuff down uh, and grab brown bricks. TK says, I have a light gray table. Uh, let me see if the gray ones blend in. I'm sure they are. Confirm, light gray blend in with my gray table. Not as much as your black pieces on the black table. It's not too bad. Okay. It's survivable. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's cool. You're, oh, that's looking good, Clark, man. It's not, I like the theme of it more than anything. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks just like a whole bunch of scrambled brown on Stuff. Looks like awesomeness. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like seesaws back and then goes forward. We can't keep hyping this thing up without showing people, Clark, man. Sorry, guys. Just settle down. Clark's okay. like, this is the coolest thing I've ever built out of Lego, and it's just outside of the frame from what you guys are seeing as I build the hat of a pirate. Yard, me hearties. Maybe we can make that a turn. Uh... I do wonder if there probably are Lego designers that share a lot of their um, their process. Just have to find them. Like I don't know who designed this. It's probably in the front of the manual, which I won't take time to look into. I rarely look at that stuff. I just am so excited to build. I just bust into it and I'm like, let's go. I start building. I would say the idea sets are probably the coolest manuals to look at. See all the information and the person that designed it originally. That's pretty neat. But this is going to be a rare building stream for me. I need to get into the organization side of things, and that's what I plan to stream going forward. Myself kind of uh, working my way through all of these parts. In fact, I have a bunch of bags right next to me right now that I think are going to be the featured in my next series of streams where we try to get through all those. We got one of these on this side. Oh, I see. You got the parts you need, little buddy. I'm probably going to miss some steps on this one, too. I just almost tried skipping the entire step. And I don't think that's going to work out very well. Yeah, me too. I saw someone ask about gaming streams. Uh, we're going to be... I don't know if I'm going to be streaming or not, but we're going to be playing Fortnite with Landon after I'm done here. I don't know if I'm going to stream, though. Say about just just playing together and we'll see how it goes but he's been asking about playing some games and we we're gonna play rocket league but
Clark Man wants to play too. So I was like, hey, let's play some Fortnite. We haven't played that in a long time. So we're going to have to get unrusty, Clark Man. But if you want to watch our gaming stuff, it's on Greg's Arcade. You can check it out on the YouTubes. Let me see if a tire works with this too. It might not. I don't think it works. Two people designed this set. Interesting. That'd be even harder, I feel like. I think that'd be, like, to compromise between somebody else that's working with you would be kind of challenging, especially if you're really set on something like, oh, I really want to design this hat this way, and the person's like, no. But they probably work well together. That's probably how you become a designer. You have to be able to take criticism and be pretty open to, to new ideas outside of your mind. Yeah, so just don't think of anything too cool. No, you want to think of the coolest thing you can. So, so people love it. You don't want to make a weak set. Yeah, but you got you. But your partner might be like, "Oh no, thank you." Mm -hmm. yeah. Liam says he's been enjoying the yard sale videos, Clark Man. I have one, another one for you. Clark Man Snack Shack video is coming out. We actually hosted a yard sale instead of going to one, so that should be pretty cool. Oh no, the marble! <laughs> why, why am I so stupid and put the marble? Score in? says, uh, "Just rediscovered your channel. Love the vids." Well, thanks. I've been trying to actually make some videos. It's been a little bit. Uh, but we're we're working on it. Summertime is always kind of more challenging because we're doing so much other stuff. But I try to document all the things that we're, we're up to. So if you're subscribed to our vlog channel, you get to see all of the other things outside of Lego. And there's a lot more stuff outside of Lego than within Lego that I do in my life. Okay, that, it works, it works. Clark's build works. Mm -hmm. Well, you better be good with it because I'm almost bowl, done here, Clark, man. I got a bowl, a bowl holder. Okay. It's as a tire. You still have some time to make it epic. Clark's doing his own version of Lego Masters over here. I'm glad you rediscovered us. Uh, what sets should I buy with $50? That's an impossible question to answer because everyone's interests are different. The best thing you can do is either look online or go into a store with your $50 and decide for yourself what you want to get because we all like different things. And that's what makes the world interesting, right? If everyone had the same interests, there wouldn't be much on the shelves and things would be pretty darn boring, I feel like. So take your, I don't know where, if you like to shop in person. I'd say go in person. That way you can see the stuff. Go to Walmart or Target or wherever you like to shop at. Then go in there and be like, hmm, what's the coolest thing that I could spend $50 on? Maybe it's more than one thing. You can get a couple $20 sets. Yeah, And have some money for, uh, for a snack. All right. Um, I am finished. You're finished? Okay, I'm almost done, Clark, man. Should we show your contraption now, or should we save it to the end? Save it for the end. Sorry, guys. Clark Man makes the call. We got to save his contraption to the end. It's going to be. People decide. Actually, let the people decide. They're going to say now. They're going to want to see it now. But we got to keep them hooked. Yeah. Can you add anything to it in the next few minutes? Because all I have to build is a map after I'm done with this hat. Here's the hat, by the way. Nothing really. No. Nothing to add. Okay. It's very tiny. Isn't like massive. Should, oh, you think we should? Bring people's expectations down a little bit. Yeah. It's just the start of a great ball contraption. Okay. It's a starter. A few ramps. It's it. just a few ramps on a thing. So. I also made my own ball ho marble holder. They might it's think tired. it's something crazy. It's it's not crazy crazy, but it's it's coolish. Check this out. I mean, Make a little stack. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. No, don't undersell yourself. It's it's. It kind of looks kind of. Garbage. Yeah. <laughs> we, we went from hyping people to saying it looks like garbage. All right, we got to put this guy's hat on. This is going to be cool. His head's a little flat right now, so we got to do something about that, right? Look at this. Can I get that on there, like, without messing things up? Oh, yeah. That's cool. He gives you the old look down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't have any walls on the inside, but... It sounds like your thing sucks, Clark, man. Is that true? It has a red circle <laughs> I have to go into. Um, <laughs> all right, I got to build the map. The map is all we have. And then you get to see Clark, man's... Amazing build. Amazing, uh, also referred to it's, as garbage it's, build. It's as big as my TV. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, a, it's a 60 by 60 place. It's what you'd expect if somebody spent... Uh, how long we've been streaming here? 30 minutes? That's actually a long time, Clark. I expect more out of you, son. That thing is more like twenty minutes or sixteen. You did spend some time just doinking around too, so there is that. How's the Optimus Prime, Clark? Man, they're considering buying it. 
like Arkham's friend. Yeah. Um, it, it isn't really for play thing, playing, but uh, it's. I mean, you can transform it. It's, it's good. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, I haven't looked at them in a long time. <laughs> so you're thinking maybe for display purposes. Yeah, if you're like looking at your display stuff, put, buy him. And it does transform. You get two models out of it. I'm hoping that they make Megatron. That would be amazing. I want them to make Bumblebee. I want them to make Starscream. Make everybody. Come on, Lego. Root Lego, but you gotta take it apart and then. Here we go. Feel that. All right, Clark. I have one last thing to do before we show off your thing here. Okay. This is the most nightmare thing of all time. Everybody, hold your. Own Don't hold your breath because you'll probably uh, die of suffocation before Ooh. I, before I finish this. I want to get this on just right. You guys are making me extremely nervous, though. Oh no. <laughs> That's a big flipping sticker, boys. I don't like this kind at all. Did go on rather nicely oh. though. It is nice because it has white uh, edges on it. Oh, too. I know what what this place is. I think it might be like maybe I don't know. Oh wait, I have to switch. I have to spin that around. A Australia little bit. is maybe a little bit down there. Please hold. I just there is a certain way this goes on because that is like that, Please and then that hold. is like that. Please hold. That's the way you had it. No, I just spun it around spun ninety degrees. Around. Okay, we take that. And then we put it on his little hand. You guys want to see that. Where does this go? Hold on, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, let me. Oh, Clark wants to do it. Gosh, okay. Go ahead, buddy. He completely breaks. His whole hair just shatters. Well, I guess it's going to be out on long stream. Okay, where, where does this go? Where does that go, I wonder? Let's see. Nope. Is that just like a little collectible? Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's weird. It's just collectible. Don't fold it, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we do with that. Is it on the box anywhere? No. No, it's not. I don't that, think it goes anywhere, Dad. That's weird. That's well, I'll take it. Here's our guy, though. You're curious what he looks like. Here's all the other Lego house stuff. I, well, I'll show that to you real quick. We have that one. I love it. That one I haven't built yet. That one I haven't built yet. I built this. Here's the evolution of the minifig. Wow, they've come a long way. I would say like that, <laughs> absolutely cursed. That, mm, they really, uh, that, booyah. those are good. Even this guy is, he's doable. These ones though, man. I love the baby, I like the You like this one over here, number mm. one? Look at his no, face. No, I like this, the rest of them except for number one. Okay. I like two, This is my favorite. Three, four. They could have stopped right there and I would have been happy. But yeah, that's that's way more detailed. Anyways. My favorite for, one is this one. <laughs> I like, if they did that guy with that guy's face. I, I think that guy's face is just so perfect. The pirate. Here's what he looks like. Do you want to pick him up, Clark Man? You want to see what he's like? Actually, let's do a little comparison here. I might do a video on this. Here's the, here's the actual one. And then here's the big one. I think Papa. <laughs> they did a nice job, I feel like. Papa, Papa. <laughs> Give me milk. <laughs> okay, son. Wee. Yay. Ah. You can actually turn that to. Uh, I can lay it. Take a snooze on your nice map. Yay. Oh, what if you built a little pirate ship that he held in his hand and then that guy was on the pirate ship? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, like, what if you get the red beard runner and then oh. put it and then, like, make it micro scale and then put it in his hand? That'd be cool. Have it, like, right, fit right in his hook. That'd be pretty neat. All right, give me that guy back before he gets lost. Oh. We got to show off your thing too, Clark, man. Yeah, the, the coolest thing. He does not come with the set, by the way. I had that in the collection, but this thing's pretty neat. I think it's going to look great on display. Will it look as good as 3723, though? That's my next build, and I have all the parts for it, uh, which is right there behind Clark Man. But we'll show off his, his contraption here, the thing that we've been hyping this entire stream. Probably, I mean, at least 10 times better than that set. So we got a few ramps, a guy cheering. Do you need some light over here, Clark Man? So we got, so it goes down really fast, so we put some barriers around, like, the red circle where he goes into, and then we got a guy cheering. Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Three, two, one. Lift off. Bruh. <laughs> I told you I shouldn't be excited. I've never been uh, more amazed in my life. That's incredible. And wait. 
There's more. Wait, there's more. The tiger king. <laughs> the tiger king. Yay. Mm. I think yeah, with maybe. some extra building, you, you're you on to something here, Clark. This could be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I mean. I it's like, a start. I mean, I like the wall the most part. I mean, yeah. Look at that. It's kind of like castle. Yeah. It's a cool concept. Like if you made that giant, just think how cool that'd be. Like, what if it was all the way up here and you're just like, oh, they actually have um that at the toy at Walmart. Not Lego, you mean, right? Yeah, not Lego, but why is it not Lego? That's my question. Ramps on a giant white wall. <laughs> but speaking of Lego, this is my next big minifig build. Ooh, yeah. Three seven two three. Let me bring up a picture. I'll show you what this is going to be. I've showed it in the past. We also have the parts for this. This is the um, Rover. Cur Curiosity Rover. I only needed a couple parts for that, but this is sick. Let me show it to you. We can chat for a little bit too. We are done with the build. That didn't take too long to do. I think I'm gonna make like a review or something. I'll, maybe I'll make a YouTube short. I'll be like, hey, I built this guy and look at him. He's got stuff and things and he's cool. Let me show you Lego 3723 and you can decide which one of these you like. Lego 3723. I'll show you the picture of this. He's kind of cursed, you know, just to be clear. There's a little bit of a curse level here. Close your eyes. Everybody. Yeah, close your eyes before I before you get cursed. But oh, that's what he looks no. like. He's a lot bigger than this guy back here, but I kind of love it. He's got a green hat. It's it's hard to see in the. He's adorable. He is cute. I think the face is cute. He's not mm. he's not creepy. I mean, it's creepy. It's the if you part. moved his eyebrows to like a mean eyebrow, I think it might be creepy. But I, I think, think as he stands, he's just he's get rid cute. of his eyebrows at all. Every part of his eyebrow. You could. But he's got a green hat, red shirt, and then blue pants. And I'll show you the other minifig that's coming out. I don't know the set number for that one. Uh, Lego. Um, anyone know what it is? Big minifigure? I don't know. He's like, there he is. Scaled up minifigure coming in June 2023. Let me show you the picture of this and you guys can decide if you like it or not. If any of the links work that I'm trying to get into here. There you go. That's what that one looks like. Just a guy with a hat. He doesn't have as much character as this guy does, but it's not nearly as expensive, and you could have one that's like this. And he actually comes with the little minifig, like this guy should have probably. I wish they made um like um him lo look like um Harry from um Home Alone, but then make the um blue hat into like a gray beanie. Why? <laughs> because I just see the beanie as his hat. <gasps> no, that's an actual, that's a, that's a, a baseball hat. It looks like a dome for a beanie. It's not a beanie, though. It's a, a beanie. It's not a beanie. It's a full-size hat, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. <laughs> I'm not leaving yet. These guys, these guys hung out all this time. We'll chat for a little bit if you guys want to. But that's called the uh, scaled up minifig. He doesn't have a beanie on. It's, <laughs> it's not a dome. It's, it's a hat. It's just at a weird angle. All right, get out of here. If you guys want to chat about something, make it happen before Clarkman completely ruins the stream. What do you guys think? I have gorilla tape. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Duct tape your Gosh, mouth. he's going to be off all summer. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to do these live streams, man? I do like this thing, though. Have lots of leftover pieces. I'm going to put this on display somewhere. Where are we going to put them, Clarkman? Um, maybe um, by Spaceman. Spaceman. How about he goes up on top of the shelf over there, you think? Yeah. By the spaceman? Yeah, spaceman. I think he's too tall. No, he can't. How's he going to go up on the wall? He can't no, attach him to the wall. Him. Let's put him. No, I might as well not even put him on display because I still have to do a video or something about him because no one's going to want to sit through this live stream for all these days to, to see this thing get complete. So we'll make a little video. I don't want to do a review because... It's not my thing, but I will show them complete for all the people that just want to spend 40 seconds watching this instead of 40 minutes, which I think is what we're at right now. So that probably would be a great time. The map's upside down. Clark, man, you had one job to do. You had one job to do. The map is upside down. Don't worry, I fired the help. I fired Clark, man. It's all good now. Good thing we got that fixed, because that would have been a catastrophe had the map been upside down. You know what? Now it's sideways, though. Now the map's sideways. All right. Um, are we streaming with Landon, or are we just going to play, Clark, ma'am? Whatever. Whatever. 
I don't know. Subscribe to my gaming channel if you like live streams. We do more live streams there than we do here. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on this uh, Building the Pirate stream. I hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next stream, which it should probably be an organization stream because these things have been sitting out for a while. Bye. Peace on the streets. We'll Bye. be back. <laughs> we'll be back with some more stuff for you guys. Bye. I was wondering when it was going to end. All right. Stay tuned for that. 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 All right. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. All right. See you guys. Peace.